Collecting data on incident operations is essential for establishing an ongoing culture of learning and emergency management. A variety of data collection methods can be used for this continuous improvement, but selecting the right method will help answer more critical questions at the speed needed for emergency management. This video will explore the importance of data collection for continuous improvement in emergency management by considering four questions. Why is data important for continuous improvement in emergency management? What types of data sources exist? What are common continuous improvement data collection methods? And where can you find more information about these data collection methods? Let's start with the first question. Why is data important for continuous improvement in emergency management? Data provides empirical evidence to understand the root cause of why something happened, support decision-making, and drive change. Emergency managers use data to improve response operations and update plans, policies, and procedures to better prepare for future incidents. Let's answer the next question. What types of data sources exist? Data can be divided into two types, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative or non-numeric data, such as interview or hot wash notes, provides descriptive information that cannot be easily measured or counted. Quantitative data is information in the form of numbers, such as the number of resource requests or their cost during an incident. Using both quantitative and qualitative data helps ensure the accuracy of findings and builds a broader understanding of what happened and why. Now, let's discuss the next question. What are common continuous improvement data collection methods? There are seven data collection methods commonly used in emergency management. These include direct observations, hot washes, surveys, interviews, focus groups, data reviews, and document reviews. Direct observation is a method of observing and documenting the actions of individuals and other contextual information. This method can be used to build a record of what actions were taken during incident operations. This method can be used at an incident command post, emergency operations center, or other operational locations. Hot washes are facilitated group discussions used to gather feedback during or following an incident. Hot washes typically occur before staff demobilize or shortly after the end of an incident. They can be held periodically during longer incidents to ensure data is not lost due to the length of the incident. Hot washes conducted during incident operations can be used to identify strengths, potential best practices, areas for improvement, and mission critical issues. Surveys are questionnaires designed to collect specific consistent data from a large group of people. They are among the least resource intensive methods for gathering qualitative and quantitative data. Interviews, which can be conducted with individuals or small groups, are used to collect information about participants' perspectives and observations by asking questions in a structured and conversational setting. Focus groups are facilitated discussions with individuals that share a unique set of information or expertise, such as a group of public health experts, nurses, or mass care facility leadership. This method leverages participants' specific viewpoints and experiences. Data reviews involve collecting and analyzing existing database resources, such as data on how many hours staff worked during an activation. Document reviews involve gathering data from incident-specific operational documents, such as situation reports, incident action plans, and activated plans and procedures. These documents can provide contextual information and key details. Now, let's answer the last question. Where can you find more information about these data collection methods? For more information about data collection methods, Chapter 2 of the National Continuous Improvement Guidance covers these topics in greater detail. You can find the guidance on the Continuous Improvement Technical Assistance Program website on FEMA's Prep Toolkit. On the same website, you can find data collection related templates and resources to download, such as the Interview Best Practices Guide and the Collection Analysis Plan Template. 
Thanks for watching this video on collecting data for continuous improvement. For more information, please visit the Continuous Improvement Technical Assistance Program website at preptoolkit.fema.gov. Good luck on your continuous improvement journey.